was what was the moment that Dante told you it's official Keaton's out for a little bit to go? Uh, it was a couple days ago. Um, Dante just called me up to his office. He just sat me down and, and told me what was going on, and he just said that you know we're gonna be rolling with me, and just you know I got to get get ready. And uh, you know he's, he has a ton of confidence in, in me, which helps a ton when you have your head coach have a lot of confidence in you. So I'm excited and, and, and I'm ready. You played a lot of summer, but for your first start to be against Clive UCLA, what's this moment like? For you? Yeah, it's it's definitely super exciting. Um, you know, I wouldn't really expect my first start to be in a rivalry game like this with, you know, all the emotions and just the history of it all. Um, so I'm just, I'm super excited for the opportunity and I'm ready to go attack it. How different did practice feel knowing that you're going to go in as the starter? Um, I would just say like, honestly, not much has changed. I take each day, like I'm, you know, I'm going to play and I'm going to get my opportunity. So each day I treat it the exact same. Um, all it comes down to is I just, I'm getting a little bit more reps now, so I'm able to get a better rhythm and get a feel of the offense a lot better. Yeah, I respect their, their staff a ton. I had a great relationship with, with Coach Kelly and, and all the staff members there. Um, you know, Coach Kafusi played with my dad at Utah, so there's a little bit of family ties. Um, but, you know, their coaching staff was great during my recruitment. I have a lot of respect for them. Is it kind of ironic that you came down to those two schools for you and now your first start is against them? Yeah, I mean, looking back on it, it's kind of crazy, so for sure. Jackson, how do you feel like your confidence has grown just over the course of this season? What do you guys have uh, I feel like it's just progressively gotten more and more. Um, I think that having the injury, you know, it kind of just sets you back on a little bit of a little bit of things. It wasn't really as much my confidence, but um, you know, just like with my sequencing of, of me throwing the ball, you know, some things I just had to tune up, and it took me a little bit just because I was out. Um, but I feel like last week, after getting a ton of reps, and you know, going into this week, I'm I'm feeling really good, and I I feel like the best I have since my injury. Graham was talking about you as kind of a natural leader. Is it easier to assert that when you're the guy as opposed to when you're sharing the position with the other last two weeks? Yeah, I think that that just kind of comes with the with the position itself. Um, and then when you're obviously when you name the guy, you, you know you hold yourself to a standard and you want to hold everybody else to the, to a standard, that, which is a high one. And um, I think that the guys on the team hold me to a high one, and I want to do the same for them. So uh, you know we hold we hold everybody accountable. Um, so just trying to be a good leader and be there for the guys. What have you learned? The decision was made, and, and you were told you didn't be the starter. Have you had a conversation with Keaton yet about it? Yeah, me and Keaton are, have always been really close with each other. Um, you know, he kind of just told me what was going on, and uh, he was just awesome about it. Wished me the best of luck, and he's been a great support for me. What have you learned about the rivalry since you got here? Um, I really just didn't understand how intense it was. I think, you know, coming from Utah, uh, you know, I wasn't as aware of the rivalry growing up. Um, but you know these most recent years, I've kind of just seen it, and uh, you know they kind of show in, in our in our team meeting rooms. We show some of like the you know the scuffles or the brawls or stuff like that that's happened, and emotions run really high in this rivalry, and it's it's for the city. Um, so I just think that the biggest thing has just been the history of it all and, and the intensity. Um, <laughs> not really. Uh, I, I always kind of like like jewelry a little bit, kind of like to have a little bit of flash. Um, I was in Hawaii in May and I saw it. And I just thought it looked cool and just started wearing it. I just never really took it off. So I just like it. You were getting some extra throws in there with MJ3 at the end. What have you seen from him this week? Yeah, Mike's a tremendous player. Uh, me and him are roommates. So, you know, we have a bond that's really close on the field and really, really good on the field. Uh, you know, he's, he's going to be a guy that's going to have to step up. And he's going to, you know, take more reps here and out. And, you know, I'm just trying to tune myself up with him, make sure that we're on the same page. And, uh, you know, I'm, su I'm super excited to see him play because I know he's going to make really big plays and be a big part of our team. You set the goal pretty high with your first kind of full game as that Washington State game. That's kind of what the fans have in their head, the expectation. Is that a lot of pressure for you? Can we um, I've always kind of felt like I put the most pressure on myself. Um, I don't really see it as much pressure on the outside. Like I said, I hold myself to a, whole, a high standard, and you know I, I want to perform to the highest of my abilities. So you know my expectation is is to you know have a, a big game. Having had that experience where you did get to play most of the game, does that take a little bit of the pressure off being your first start? Yeah, I think so. Any experience that you can get playing on the field uh, in college, especially because I'm young, getting adjust to the speed of the game. I think that. 
you know, with me having some time off and then getting more reps in the Arizona and Arizona State game has, has got me really prepared for this for this game for sure.